Ben and Jerry's topped. Discover delicious chocolatey fudge topping, then dig in. One cup of even more. The it swells with salt, caramel, and chocolate Dinas fudge brownies. Born to live. Ben and Jerry's topped. Layer with goodness from top to bottom. There are fears fuel prices are about to soar in the US after a cyber attack crippled the country's largest oil pipeline. The FBI suspects Russian hackers are behind the ransom attempt as authorities scramble to get operations back online. Tim Lester reports. For Americans, an attack deeply troubling for what it says about cyber security or the lack of it around the country's big infrastructure. Colonial Pipeline, America's biggest oil artery, funnels refined fuel northeast from Texas all the way to New York. Two and a half million barrels a day, almost half the fuel needs of the US East Coast. Shut down by cyber crooks in a stunning weekend ransom attack. We're very concerned about the growth in ransomware and the impact it has. This morning, the FBI named Darkside, a Russian network of cyber criminals it believes carried out the attack. It is also looking for any connections to the Russian government. I'm going to be meeting with President Putin, and uh, so far there is no evidence based on from our intelligence people that Russia is involved. No word on whether the company Colonial plans to pay the cyber crooks and there are mixed messages now on whether the pipeline closure is about to cost Americans. Food prices are going to go up. Airline tickets are going to go up. Uh, gasoline prices are going to go up. Everything, you know, everything that gets transported by truck is going to go up. The Department of Energy is working directly with Colonial to get the pipelines back online and operating at full capacity. And President Biden is expected to announce this week new measures to protect American infrastructure from cyber attacks. Six people have been injured in a terrifying boat explosion in the US. Thick black smoke billowed from the vessel as it was consumed by flames which spread. A jet ski caught fire and set the nearby dock ablaze. Two teenagers were rushed to the local hospital with burns. It's not clear what led to the explosion. Police in Sydney believe they've caught a serial dog napper. A man has faced court charged with kidnapping a family dog. Our great tasting the chicken shop. menu just the dog got tastier. Get really ready for the today. cheese and bacon McChicken, the fiery well, cheese and bacon McSpicy, the and the mouth watering cheese and bacon Sydney chicken deluxe. Now Friday that's too night, good to keep to yourself. to a family with two autistic children, and police say the man who took their much loved family pet is a serial dog napper. Levi the friendly there Turbo Diesel by Suzu Pitbull's terrier to live. when the food was left tied up outside World Square in Sydney's CBD. Blake Race Engineering, your local repairs and maintenance workshop. And Head up front repairs, boat trailers, sheep races, hay feed out trailers, comb trailers, manufacturing, repairs and maintenance, they do it all. Even sandblasting and painting. And Contact Blake Race Engineering Levi today. James before making Looking for spare parts for your four-wheel drive in the Pilbara? Look no further. Goldfields Auto Spares has opened in Port Headland at 14 Manganese Street, Wedgefield. With low prices on genuine and non-genuine parts, call 91481 and start saving today. today in the court heard he was convicted Welcome. Of a Come in and refresh with an icy cold beer. Relax in our bistro or beer garden. Select a meal from our extensive menu. Enjoy. And remember, there is only one Kalgoorlie Hotel. Including not to approach if you're looking for the latest window fashion, it's time time to discover the Luxaflex difference. Our polysatin shutters are made in Australia with a two-week manufacturing lead time and a 20-year warranty. By now, I will give you a communication for your upgrade. 40 metres above the ground has been rescued after whatever your claim, big or small. We're on to it. We were stuck for about 45 minutes on the tower before emergency services arrived. The van was eventually brought down and treated by paramedics for being taken to hospital in a serious condition. Thank you. Checking finance now with Stephen Daglin at Comsec with Aussie shares falling heavily on budget day. Good afternoon. Well, look, the Aussie market did struggle on Tuesday, Yui. falling you by a little insured. more than one percent. But keep in mind, this is following on from these a four strangers must work as a team to win thousands of dollars. But by one standing in their way, it's one of the sharpest minds in Australia. Australia. Federal budget the chaser. That handed down. Uh, the chaser. The chaser. Not really uh, influenced in a significant way to, to the budget um, around that budget time, uh, historically at least. And this is likely to 